Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you three other sketch tools that are a little bit more advanced. So one of them is called Make Path. So here uh, I have this sketch which has two lines and two arcs. And uh, if I want to make the center of the circle such that it goes all over what? All over this uh, total sketch in black, the fully defined sketch, like a path. Well, uh, if I just go ahead and make this uh, center here, right? You see here it can freely move. If I make it coincident with any of these curves or these lines, the problem is it only will be coincident with that one uh, alone and nothing else. So here I make it coincident with this line. Look, it goes on the line, but once it passes the end point, it keeps going on the extension of the line and it doesn't go on the curves. Or if I make it coincident with the curve, then the problem is, um, look here. So let me move this on the curve, look. So it goes on the curve, but now you see it keeps going on the extension of the curve, which is a circle. So if I wanted to uh, follow the entire uh, sketch, then I need to convert all of these four entities into one and make it a path. So I select all of this go to tools and then go to sketch tools and say make a path okay and uh, you need to make sure that you don't include the dimensions okay you see right now i just uh, selected the dimensions too you just need to make sure you just select the sketch entities and uh, of course not the dimensions so uh, here just select these four and make them a path and now, if you force this point to be coincident with any of the elements of this path, it is going to go on the whole path. Look, see? So this is what this is making a path. The second thing I want to show you is uh, called Dissolve uh, Sketch Text. So here, let's say I have written a text like this. And clearly, I cannot access individual letters in here, and I cannot edit them, right? They are separate. They are not separate entities, and it's just uh, considered one giant text. But if I want to edit some of these or do uh, any modifications to them, one thing I can do, I right-click on this text, and then say Dissolve Sketch Text. And if I do that, now look. It has broken it into individual components, right? So now, if I, for example, want to make this uh, triangle a little bit smaller or something like that, guess what? I can do that, right? Or I can, if I want to make this E something like this, guess what? I can do that. So this is dissolving what? Dissolving uh, sketch text, which can be quite uh, good and useful. The other one is called jog line. So let's say here you are in a sketch plane and you draw a line. Okay, and um, let's say you want to convert this line to some sketch like a crankshaft, right? So it has two jogs on one side and two jogs on the other side. Well, uh, if you want to make something like a crankshaft, you have to use a polyline, right? So you need to go something like this, go down and then go forward and then keep going, right? And it is gonna take you some good time to just do the what? The initial sketch of this. And then of course you have to what? You have to um, do the dimensioning, right? So you, you'll make something like that. You see how many lines I used to make it like this? Now, another way to do something like that is just draw the line, which is from the beginning point to the end point, and now look. You go to the tools and go to sketch tools and then use this jog line. And all you need to do is to grab a portion that you want to create a jog like this and then move it up. There we go. Here, go down, make one. Here, go down, make one. Here, go down, make one. Okay, as fast as that, you can get the jog done. And here is the uh, final product with adding dimensions and relations. So hopefully it was useful to you. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.